To me, Woods has really been a remarkable experience. When I first came to Woods, not quite two years ago at this point, I had never been to uh, public school in a successful manner. I went to public school in sixth grade, but I did not enjoy it. I was very apprehensive about even coming to Woods because of my past experiences. But I'm very glad I ended up coming, and I've grown a lot through my time here. So I've had some ups and downs, but Woods has overall been the best option I could have gone, gone with. I would like to share today uh, just why I think Woods is such an exceptional school. So, uh, although I've only been at Woods for two years, I still feel like I've gotten a pretty good feel for the way things are done here. So, to me, one of the best things about Woods is simply how kind all of the teachers are. I've never met a group of adults that clearly have so much interest in their students becoming the best they can be. My understanding is that all too commonly, teachers treat school as merely a nine to five job where they show up, put in their hours, and leave. I can state with confidence that, that is not the way things go here. I see it as a testament to the kindness of the teachers here that Ms. DeMaio, who doesn't even have me for any classes, recently recognized that I was stressed and found to ask me if I was all right. Last year I had Mr. Friedman for AP Statistics, and even though I no longer have him for classes this year, he's still been willing to help me with homework for my calculus and physics classes. Last fall, when I was considering college choices, I told Mr. Massengale that I was considering Davidson College, and he spent nearly an hour talking with me about his experience there and why he thought I should attend. While I can go on and on about further examples of the teachers here being an incredible bunch, I think that these serve as excellent examples as to just how kind the staff here is. While the, and while the kindness of the teachers certainly does go a long way towards making a positive school experience, it's the students that really do have the power to make or break the environment. And fortunately, the Woods students are a very inclusive group, and everyone is accepted as part of the community. I'm confident that a few schools have had, ever had a student use a plastic bucket instead of a backpack, but that was accepted just fine here. <laughs> Similarly, I don't know which of the students here remember my cloak, but I'm astonished at how positively it was received. And while Woods is certainly not immune to some sort of uh, small-scale cliques, I think that as a whole, the students here are incredibly inclusive, and that's much less of an issue than normal. Furthermore, finally, I would like to talk about uh, the willingness of Woods to help students create a high school experience that works for them. Um, high schools in the United States as a whole are not very flexible situation, or not very flexible and really students are treated as one of a number where it's their job to show up, take the classes that are required for their grade, and graduate. Fortunately, this isn't the case, and the Woods faculty is more than willing to help students find the classes that they need and that they find interesting in order to get what they want out of a high school experience. Furthermore, if it wasn't for the willingness of Woods to give students a second chance, I wouldn't be here uh, talking to you today. Last year, I had an altercation involving the Woods computer system. Without any, going into any details, I'm confident that at most any other school, I would have been treated much more harsh, harshly than Woods would even consider. As a result of Woods' willingness to forgive, I've grown and I'm now going off to NC State to study history and engineering. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to my fellow students in the class of 2012. I'd like to introduce you to Hannah Neowith, one of the most talented and successful students at Woods.